the book Dragon Slayer. It's not fair. I want to go home. Who do you think they go? You actually believe that? Do you think about them? Like they'll listen to me. Then what? This is a suffering dreamland. I was born here. They took everything from me. Something is happening. Moscato. <laughs> you know me so well, guard. <laughs> mm. It's a shame you're on duty. I could give you something a lot more entertaining to watch. <laughs> mm. I wish I had. My hands were freer to open this. Damn chains. Mm. Mm. Maybe if I put it. to me and you can't even give me easy bottles of wine to open damn it mm. Mm. Hmm? oh hey I've never seen you here before mm. between my legs oh it's a bottle of wine one of the guards gave me Everyone here at the Order gives me wine to keep me quiet, as it were, but I'm having trouble opening it. I thought if I could just squeeze it between my legs, I might be able to undo the stopper and break the seal, but I can't, and it's beginning to get on my nerves. Mm, just like a lot of things on my nerves. Mm. Mm? And you the bottle? Okay. If you drink it right in front of me, I may have to kill you. Just a fair warning. I've had a very trying day. Mm. Can't get out, can't run around, can't even play. Oh, this place really can get on your nerves, among other things. Poor thing. Oh, you opened it. Thank you. <laughs> Ah, Moscatos are yummy, Zinfandels are yummy. I like champagne, but they only let me have champagne when I'm good. <laughs> Not really. Mm. Especially with all the comments I make about all the people here. You know. <laughs> mm. You know, you're pretty to look at. I like the way you look. Something about you is just so... tempting. I know you're a human, but... I like humans. I like all sorts of species. <laughs> oh. oh, but forgive me, I'm being positively uncivil. And after you opened up my bottle of wine for me, where are my manners? <laughs> My name's Vega. What's yours? Hmm. That's a very good name. I like the way it sounds. It just rolls off the tongue. Can you say it again for me, please? Hmm. <laughs> Wonderful. Hmm. What am I? Oh, don't you know? I'm a mimic. A shapeshifter. Yes, I don't look like the regular mimic, quote-unquote, the one that looks like a giant treasure chest, but I'm still a mimic. I just change my appearance into that of different species. Human, vampire, lamia. Cubus, if I wanted to, but I don't really need to. After everything the Order's done to me. 
I'm like the perfect package. I'm like a succubus, except I don't suck you dry. <laughs> mm. No, 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 no. I guess I'm supposedly a lot better than a succubus. <laughs> Funny, isn't it? Better than the real deal. <sighs> so, let me guess, you're here to ask me some questions. You've been doing it to a lot of us. Hmm, let me ask you if I answer your questions. Do I get a reward of some sort? <laughs> well, I can still answer your questions and maybe you'll change your mind during the interview. What did they do to me? <laughs> well... Well... You know how it is with humans. Humans and monsters have the ability to go forth and multiply, let's just say. <laughs> well... The Order wants a bunch of new test subjects and patients to study and poke on, but it's a little hard to have new subjects when it's hard for the patients to get in the mood. Shall we say so? <laughs> your matria, your naive, naive, naive matria and a bunch of her fellow members decided what would happen if we if we were able to adjust the desires to procreate in our patients you know tamper with their libido so they dragged me out of my cell by the hair on my head i might add and they took me to the dark room they cut, they sliced, they poured, and they experimented on me. And well, <laughs> their experiment worked. <laughs> uh, not only were they able to get access to my libido, but they turned it up all the way to an 11, <laughs> as it were. Mm. So now, I just... I'm always in the mood, constantly. Their experiment worked a little too well. I'm their problem now. <laughs> you know what I mean, don't you, dearest? Mm. Nero. You know, I often think it's unfair that your brother Brutus is higher up in the hierarchy than you. And here you are just guarding little old me. Mm, I could give you something entertaining to watch. You just need to say the word. <laughs> yep, that's what they did to me. They fucked around with my libido, and so now I just constantly want to get in the mood with people. Mm. Oh, I've tried. They don't let me do that. <laughs> But, of course, they'll never admit that this experiment of theirs was all wrong and that I'm a problem. They probably would have killed me weeks ago, but all the information I've been giving them is too good for them to kill me. <laughs> oh, the poetic irony of it all, don't you think? Sweetheart. <laughs> what do I do? Well, again... I'm constantly in the mood. And, well, let's just say I aim to please people. Mm -hmm. I flirted with almost everyone here in this establishment. Mm -hmm. Pardon. Mm, that Moscato is so yummy. That's how they keep me quiet, because I'm usually so loud and riled up. They just slip me some bottles of wine, and that keeps me quiet. Well, what can I say? We mimic love our booze, among other things. <laughs> um, 
But yes, I've flirted with almost everyone here in this fucking establishment. I've turned into whatever it is they want. I can be tall, skinny, plump, long-haired, short-haired, brunette. I can be a submissive bunny, a kitsune, a lamia, a sultry, slippery slime. I can turn into anything you want out of a playmate, let's say. Hmm, but they hardly ever let me do anything. At most, whenever I have experiments they want me to do, I mostly, at the very least, get to cuddle and snuggle with one of my playmates. Maybe a few kisses here and there, but I can never get to the fun part, the devouring. No, 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 not like that kind of devouring, sweetheart. I mean the other devouring. There are two ways you can do it. You can drink like a hummingbird, or you can do a little sword swallowing. <laughs> mm. Well, if I wanted to, I could do drinking and sword swallowing. I mean... I've gotten on the sister's nerves a few bits too, as I can turn into anything you want, partner-wise. <laughs> it's one of the joys of being a mimic, add the fact that I'm just perpetually riled up and well, <laughs> you get me, and I'm all the order's fault. <laughs> <laughs> Mm, but yes, that's essentially me in a rather large clamshell. Mm. Do you have any more questions for me? Um, you're all red in the face, all blushy and flustered. How cute. Mm. Weaknesses? Well, I have standards, despite the fact that the orders perpetually riled me up. I have standards. They've tried coercing me to coerce another into procreating. I don't do that. Mm -mm. No, I, <laughs> I flirted with almost everyone here except uh, the older members of this order. Uh, I can turn into anything anyone wants, any age, but I have standards. I want my playmates to be the same age as me. It'd be weird if they were older or younger, don't you think? And for that matter, uh, well, of course I want to do it. At the same time, I'd be lying if I said I didn't play with the fantasy of having the just right person, doing it with the right person, in the perfect setting and everything, but I don't have that luxury because I'm stuck behind these bars. It is kind of kinky though, still. Uh, it's a fantasy that'll probably never happen since I'm stuck here, probably forever. <laughs> Though there are a lot of role-playing fantasies that would drive some people mad. Just with this situation alone, pretty mimic in a prison cell. <laughs> I mean, I'm into it. Tell me, have you ever been with somebody? Do you have a lover, a wife, a husband, um, a lover, a playmate? Oh. Oh my. <laughs> oh, you're a little sweetheart. You're a little neophyte. Mm. Well, I'm not saying that because it's surprising there are a lot of neophytes here. Uh, but then again, there are also some people here who have done it before. Mm-hmm. It's not that shocking to me, but 
I think you'd make a good partner. Mm. <laughs> oh, I've gotten into trouble a lot. I don't even have to do anything. I don't even have to break out. All I have to do is just, just open my mouth. <laughs> uh, what, have, what are some of the things I've said? Well, <laughs> I've made some very scandalous comments about the leader of this whole cult called the Order. One Judge Andrushka. <laughs> oh, he's essentially a boogeyman for us monsters. Mm hmm. I've heard lots of things, some of which is true and some of which I don't know is true, but. <laughs> I heard he made a deal for eternal life and eternal youth. Which, well, I've never seen him, but if he made a deal to have eternal youth, he must be pretty lovely to look at. At the very least, he must be pleasing to the eyes. I'm sure all five of my eyes would find him pleasing at least. <laughs> well... <laughs> I may have told Maitreya Alasik while she was writing a letter to Judge Andrushka that if he were to ever summon me, that I would probably trip and land in his lap. <laughs> yes, I did say that. I won't apologize for it. After all, why should I apologize when the Order is the one who tampered with me in the first place? And what's that saying you humans have? You made your bed, now lie in it. After all, I'm all the Order's fault. So, therefore, if I get them in trouble, it's not my fault. <laughs> mm? Control? Oh, well, in many of the experiments they've had me do, I am the one in control, yes. Though, of course, despite being riled up, I will listen to the other patient, and if they don't want me to, then I won't. I try to listen, though it drives me insane to do so. But, yes. However, I can be submissive. Mm. Listen, sweetheart, if I put your hands where my eyes cannot see them, then you're in charge. If I have my hands where you can see them, then I'm in charge. That's how it works. In plain. So, you don't have a lover. You just told me that. Are you interested in having one? You can be honest with me. I won't judge you. <sighs> so, tell me, sweet thing, what are you into? What do you like? Fair skin, sun-kissed, lovely as the night sky? Do you like them tall, short, somewhere in between? Thin, slender, lithe, voluptuous, plump? Do you like milk or do you like peaches? Because I can give you both in an abundance. <laughs> do you want human? Do you want a monster? I can be any monster you want. I can be a mermaid, a centaur, a lamia, a slime, a harpy. I can be a cyclops, an elf, an arachnia, a mummy, and every little thing you could possibly think of. Oh. Well, that's a first. Oh, it's just usually when it comes to people here in the Order, 
I turn into whatever it is they want. I live to accommodate now. So, the fact that you think I'm pretty just on my own, that's refreshing, I suppose. Uh, I think the wine's starting to get to me, but... So, I guess I could stay in this form if it makes you happy. Mm. What am I into? <laughs> You're asking me what I'm into. Oh, I think the better question is what am I not into when it comes to affairs of playing? <laughs> Listen, sweetheart, you can punch me, kick me, pull my hair. I am a-okay with being stabbed, biting, and scratching are on the table, and you can use fire. Oh, damn, baby. You must be into some really interesting things, aren't you? <laughs> if you're asking what's off the table. <laughs> you're funny. I like that. And you don't seem to mind my drinking or the fact that I'm so perpetually troublesome. Hmm. You're a refreshing human. I like that. What would I do if I were able to escape? <laughs> Probably brothel work. That's the only thing I'm I'm good at good for anyway, since the order fucked with me, but ideally I'd want to be married, be a wife, and have a family. And of course, despite the fact that I'm all screwed up thanks to the order, I would never cheat on my partner. I'd sooner rip all five of my eyes out and kill myself before I cheated. But I guess I'd probably only be good for brothel work if I was able to get out of this special kind of hell. My ear, what do you want to whisper in my... Oh. Oh. Oh, really? Hmm, well. I think... I think you've become my new favorite human here. <laughs> oh. Nero left. I guess he wanted to go out and smoke his pipe. <laughs> I like the smell of pipe tobacco. But I also like the way you smell. You smell nice. But if what you're saying is true, then cheers, I'll drink to that. Ah. Ah. Empty bottle in my cell. It's a wonder that they don't keep giving me stuff to drink since I'm so riled up. But good luck then. Looks like you have a lot more to work on your list. Good luck, sweet thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs>